Numbers 31. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Avenge the people of Israel on the Midianites. Afterward, you shall be gathered to your people. So Moses spoke to the people, saying, Arm men from among you for the war, that they may go against Midian to execute the Lord's vengeance on Midian. You shall send a thousand from each of the tribes of Israel to the war. So they were provided out of the thousands of Israel, a thousand from each tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. And Moses sent them to the war, a thousand from each tribe, together with Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest, with the vessels of the sanctuary, and the trumpets for the alarm in his hand. They warred against Midian, as the Lord commanded Moses, and killed every male. They killed the kings of Midian with the rest of their slain, Evi, Rechem, Zur, Hur, and Reba, the five kings of Midian. And they also killed Balaam, the son of Beor, with the sword. And the people of Israel took captive the women of Midian and their little ones. And they took his plunder, all their cattle, their flocks, and all their goods, all their cities and the places where they lived, and all their encampments they burned with fire, and took all the spoil and all the plunder, both of man and of beast. Then they brought the captives and the plunder and the spoil to Moses, and to Eleazar the priest, and to the congregation of the people of Israel, at the camp on the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho. Moses and Eleazar the priest, and all the chiefs of the congregation went to meet them outside the camp. And Moses was angry with the officers of the army, the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds, who had come from service in the war. Moses said to them, Have you let all the women live? Behold, these are Balaam's advice. Cause the people of Israel to act treacherously against the Lord in the incident of Peor. And so the plague came among the congregation of the Lord. Now therefore kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman who has known a man by lying with him. But all the young girls who have not known man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves. Encamp outside the camp seven days. Whoever of you has killed any person, and whoever has touched any slain, purify yourselves and your captives on the third day and on the seventh day. You shall purify every garment, every article of skin, all work of goat's hair, and every article of wood. Then Eleazar the priest said to the men in the army who had gone to battle, This is the statute of the law that the Lord has commanded Moses. Only the gold, the silver, the bronze, the iron, the tin, and the lead, everything that can stand the fire, you shall pass through the fire, and it shall be clean. Nevertheless, it shall also be purified with the water for impurity. And whatever cannot stand at the fire, you shall pass through the water. You must wash your clothes on the seventh day, and you shall be clean. And afterward, you may come into the camp. The Lord said to Moses, Take the count of the plunder that was taken, both of man and of beast, you and Eleazar the priest, and the heads of the fathers' houses of the congregation, and divide the plunder into two parts between the warriors who went out to battle in all the congregation, and levy for the Lord a tribute from the men of war who went out to battle, one out of five hundred of the people, and of the oxen, of the donkeys, and of the flocks. Take it from their half, and give it to Eleazar the priest as a contribution to the Lord. And from the people of Israel's half, you shall take one drawn out of every fifty of the people, of the oxen, of the donkeys, and of the flocks, of all the cattle, and give them to the Levites, who keep guard over the tabernacle of the Lord. And Moses and Eleazar the priest did as the Lord commanded Moses. Now the plunder remaining of the spoil that the army took was 675,000 sheep, 72,000 cattle, 61,000 donkeys, and 32,000 persons in all, women who had not known man by lying with him. And the half, the portion of those who had gone out in the army, numbered 337,500 sheep, and the Lord's tribute of sheep was 675. The cattle were 36,000, of which the Lord's tribute was 72. The donkeys were 30,500, of which the Lord's tribute was 61. The persons were 16,000, of which the Lord's tribute was 32 persons. And Moses gave the tribute, which was the contribution for the Lord, to Eleazar the priest, as the Lord commanded Moses. 
from the people of Israel's half, which Moses separated from that of the men who had served in the army. Now the congregation's half was 337,500 sheep, 36,000 cattle, and 30,500 donkeys, and 16,000 persons. From the people of Israel's half, Moses took one of every fifty, both of persons and of beasts, and gave them to the Levites, who kept guard over the tabernacle of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. Then the officers who were over the thousands of the army, the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds, came near to Moses and said to Moses, Your servants have counted the men of war who are under our command, and there is not a man missing from us, and we have brought the Lord's offering. What each man found, articles of gold, armlets and bracelets, signet rings, earrings and beads, to make atonement for ourselves before the Lord. And Moses and Eleazar the priest received from them the gold, all crafted articles, and all the gold of the contribution that they presented to the Lord from the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds was 16,750 shekels. The men in the army had each taken plunder for himself, and Moses and Eleazar the priest received the gold from the commanders of thousands and of hundreds and brought it into the tent of meeting as a memorial for the people of Israel before the Lord. Psalm 75 We give thanks to your God. We give thanks for your name is near. We recount your wondrous deeds. At the set time that I appoint, I will judge with equity. When the earth totters and all its inhabitants, it is I who keep steady its pillars. I say to the boastful, do not boast, and to the wicked, do not lift up your horn. Do not lift up your horn on high, or speak with haughty neck. For not from the east or from the west, and not from the wilderness comes lifting up. But it is God who executes judgment, putting down one and lifting up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup with foaming wine, well mixed, and he pours out from it, and all the wicked of the earth shall drain it down to the dregs. But I will declare it forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be lifted up. Psalm 76 In Judah God is known, his name is great in Israel. His abode has been established in Salem, his dwelling place in Zan. There he broke the flashing arrows, the shield, the sword, and the weapons of war. Glorious are you, more majestic than the mountains of prey. The stout-hearted were stripped of their spoil, they sank into sleep. All the men of war were unable to use their hands. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both rider and horse lay stunned. But you, you are to be feared. Who can stand before you when once your anger is roused? From the heavens you uttered judgment. The earth feared and was still. When God arose to establish judgment to save all the humble of the earth, surely the wrath of man shall praise you. The remnant of wrath you will put on like a belt. Make your vows to the Lord your God and perform them. Let all around him bring gifts to him who is to be feared, who cuts off the spirit of princes, who is to be feared by the kings of the earth. Isaiah 23, the oracle concerning Tyre. Wail, O ships of Tarshish, for Tyre is laid waste without house or harbor. From the land of Cyprus it is revealed to them. Be still, O inhabitants of the coast. The merchants of Sidon who cross the sea have filled you. And on many waters your revenue was the grain of Shehor, the harvest of the Nile. You were the merchant of the nations. Be ashamed, O Sidon, for the sea has spoken. The stronghold of the sea saying, I have neither labored nor given birth. I have neither reared young men nor brought up young women. When the report comes to Egypt, they will be in anguish over the report about Tyre. Cross over to Tarshish, wail, O inhabitants of the coast. Is this your exultant city whose origin is from days of old, whose feet carried her to settle far away? Who has purposed this against Tyre, the bestower of crowns, whose merchants were princes, whose traders were the honored of the earth? The Lord of hosts has purposed it to defile the pompous pride of all glory, to dishonor all the honored of the earth. Cross over your land like the Nile, O daughter of Tarshish, there is no restraint any more. He has stretched out his hand over the sea, he has shaken the kingdoms. The Lord has given command concerning Canaan to destroy its strongholds, and he said, 
you will no more exult, O oppressed virgin daughter of Sidon. Arise, cross over to Cyprus, even there you will have no rest. Behold the land of the Chaldeans. This is the people that was not. Assyria destined it for wild beast. They erected their siege towers. They stripped her palaces bare. They made her a ruin. Wail, O ships of Tarshish, for your stronghold is laid waste. In that day, Tyre will be forgotten for seventy years, like the days of one king. At the end of seventy years, it will happen to Tyre as in the song of the prostitute. Take a harp. Go about the city, O forgotten prostitute. Make sweet melody. Sing many songs that you may be remembered. At the end of seventy years, the Lord will visit Tyre, and she will return to her wages and will prostitute herself with all the kingdoms of the world on the face of the earth. Her merchandise and her wages will be holy to the Lord. It will not be stored or hoarded, but her merchandise will supply abundant food and fine clothing for those who dwell before the Lord. The First Letter of John, Chapter 1 That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we looked upon and have touched with our hands concerning the word of life. The life was made manifest, and we have seen it, and testified to it, and proclaimed to you the eternal life which was with the Father, and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father, and with His Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things, so that our joy may be complete. This is the message we have heard from Him, and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in Him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with Him while we walk in darkness, we lie, and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make Him a liar, and His word is not in us. 